Hello viewers and <laughs> welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing some AI news. This is a new series I've sort of started. I have a whole playlist on the YouTube channel for it. We did one last week and I'm just rounding up all of the latest and greatest AI news that I've found through especially my Discord server but also on Twitter and a few various other areas. So yeah, this is like your AI news roundup. You're probably wondering, <laughs> you're probably wondering who this is. I, I was taking a walk today and I found this guy laying in the corner um, like a homeless person. So I decided to bring him into my video. His name is Jack. No, just kidding. He's actually my friend here. He's on the Discord, the Matt VidPro Discord server. Fried Cheese, he's a mod, so he's a professional Discord mod. I don't get paid. He's unpaid, but he's going <laughs> to be hosting I AI news with us today. Yeah. And he's going to give his critical analysis on each of the AI news pieces that we cover today. I will. He's not very familiar with AI, no. but it's going to be it's going to be a good time. So, the first piece okay. of AI news that we are discussing today is Midjourney V4. So, I made a video about this uh not too long ago. In my opinion, Midjourney V4, which is the latest iteration of Midjourney, has now surpassed Dolly 2 in terms of coherency and artistic ability and its ability to follow the prompt closely. I like the Darth Vader toilet. Like, so the, the whole thing behind the Darth Vader toilet is that the AI is able to understand the concept of both the toilet and Darth Vader and combine them together in a way that realistically makes sense. Now, that looks like a Darth Vader toilet. Like right? You, yeah, like if you walked into like a Star Wars fan like house, they'd have that. You know? <laughs> like it's not. Look at the llama to the left. Okay, th what, this one? No, below that. This guy, oh, this guy. <laughs> it's not a llama. Yeah, so it's, it still struggles here and there with different things, but Dolly struggles, I think, just as much, in my opinion. So it really is, it does go back and forth between Dolly and Midjourney V4. I think yeah. Midjourney V4 is more fun, though, and yeah. it's cheaper. I mean, like, you can barely tell, you know? It's like, you, can't, you can you, tell what's going yeah, on. Yeah, you can tell what's going on. Like, that, the one in the front and, like, the ones on the side totally look it, but then, like, you go further in the background and then they kind of yeah, just. Yeah, they get a little bit messed up. I mean,. I don't know how many whales you'd be seeing in beds, but I mean, if I were to see one, I think that that would be it for sure. You know, like Accuracy. there's not there's not many there's not many days you walk in on a whale sleeping in your bed, but if I did, that's what it would look like for sure. Yeah, yeah. No, like you walk in one day and you see that, you're gonna be like, yeah. It actually didn't capture the prompt perfectly though. It says "well tucked under the duvet." Like, he's not well tucked. I'm well, not I mean, lie. he's just kind of sitting there. I don't know how you're gonna tuck it in. To be honest, it's not. <laughs> the journey's telling you you can't tuck it in. Yeah, exactly. That's just it's what it just looks like. Not possible to tuck that thing. Like you need several blankets to tuck that. Fair thing enough. In. Fair yeah. enough. So moving on, a continuation of Midjourney V4 here. As you guys know, Google's Dream Booth open source software can be applied to AI text to image models such as Stable Diffusion. And what someone's done here is they've captured the very essence and the style of Midjourney's new V4 update and applied it to Stable Diffusion using Google's Dream Booth. And it's completely free for you guys to try out. By the way, all links are in the description as always. You can actually try this one out for completely free in Google Collab here if you really wanted to run it. It doesn't look like it's too complicated of a Google Collab to set up. <laughs> I'm sorry, you opened that. I didn't recognize anything on that page. <laughs> it's not too complicated, I promise. You can figure it out. So yes, as you can see, there's some sample images here. I believe all of these are just straight up from Stable Diffusion trained on Midjourney V4 images, which is just so crazy to think about how Stable Diffusion is basically capturing that very essence of the Midjourney update and increasing its own quality by just like leeching off of it in a way. What do we think from these images here? I think they're dope. Like, the robot one's super cool. You like this one? Yeah, that one's my favorite out of all of them. The anime girl's kind of like... Not so much? Yeah, not so much. I don't even know what's going on, really. Because, like, the art style is completely different. And that's not even the same girl. Fun fact, Midjourney is actually... I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about this. I, You know what? Other people made videos about it, so I don't really care. Midjourney is working on its own anime-based model. And I think it's in, like, a beta right now. Mm. I mean, the guy on the left, that's yeah. the KFC guy. For sure. He definitely does yeah. look like Colonel Sanders. Yeah. This looks more like that's a guy. Aqua yeah, that, King. That's he he's in charge of something, you know? Like and the guy on the left, like he's he tells you to buy the chicken. I guess I guess you're not wrong, but do you think it's ethical for them to train a model like this on Midjourney's images, considering Midjourney is its own separate company with its own model they work really hard on? Do you think this is ethical? Yeah. Like 
Aren't you so isn't the whole point of this to get better? And isn't the, the whole point of getting better to learn from something else? Fair enough. Yeah. Like you can't argue with that. All right, so moving on to our next piece of news. This one I found really, really fascinating. So Lexica, which is this website where you can search millions and millions of stable diffusion prompts and images, and you can generate on it now as well, similar to a lot of other websites, apparently are working on their own model. So this Twitter account right here, this is the guy who actually made Lexica art, and he has been training his own model. I don't know if it's a form of stable diffusion. It doesn't really look like stable diffusion to me, but this model is looking to be extremely coherent and really, really impressive. So we're going to show you some sample images and discuss those. Really, yeah. It's really accurate, though, and it, it seems like he's in the desert, which must have been included in the prompt. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on with like the double leash, double collar situation. Oh, yeah, on. that's a little strange there. So yeah. it's definitely not a perfect AI model, but this is better than like almost any uh, oh, yeah. stable diffusion image that I've seen mm -hmm. right out of the gate. And it looks to be pretty high resolution, too. It's stable diffusion is not really known to be high res. Mm -hmm. I might still be using stable diffusion's tech, though. I really don't know what's going on with it. Yeah. But it's it's a very mysterious model, mm -hmm. and what I've noticed is that it does faces the best. We were going through this like earlier. I had to ask you, are they real? And we couldn't even tell yeah. unless we like looked at like the fine details. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the one that we were talking about earlier. The These were the images that were really crazy. This one, I was like, yeah, is that a is that a real person? The head looks really good. Like the face looks really mm -hmm. good. At this, the rest of the body almost looks like it could not like match up perfectly. Mm -hmm. The faces again are really really good. Yeah. This looks like two YouTubers, like, Twitter post for Halloween or something. Oh. Um, but, I mean, this really puts it up there in comparison oh, yeah. to other models, no, for sure. Like, you know what we were talking about texture earlier? This texture, like, you can tell that that looks cozy, you know? Yeah, like, that absolutely. Looks cozy. Yeah. That texture is really good. Yeah, and, like, let's, like, the skin texture. Like, that yeah. looks like skin, you know? Yeah. Some of the most difficult stuff to do with AI text image generation is the faces. This is apparently called the Aperture Model. Mm. This one's really good. Yeah, well... That, that just looks really like a picture too. to me. Yeah, exactly. Like I was going to say, like, like I guess, like, little parts here. They don't really look like wheat. It's very interesting, though, that the creator of Lexica is what's making this model, you know? Usually it's a big company making an AI image generation model, but here we've got this guy who made the Lexica website doing it as well. I think that's really good, though. You know how I said, you know, Mid-Journey and Stable yeah. Diffusion be collabing? This? Be learning, you know? Then then this this could get make right. other things better the ai image generation space is moving at a very fast rate yeah and it and can move faster if they learn together wumbo which has been doing ai art for a long time now they have their own iphone app as well has now started to do dream booth with their ai text image models and i believe it's completely free to try out but you don't really get to make yourself into an ai model they just have a selection of really famous people you got joe biden trump uh, Elon, Kanye, and I have no idea who that yeah, is. Yeah, the most important people in the world, and Ryan. Who's, who's Ryan, <laughs> guys? I honestly, I don't know who that is. But yeah, this is really interesting. They're completely offering it for free. There's not a lot of free Dream Booth options, and I think you guys will have a lot of fun just messing around with this. Bro, we gotta try Drake. Drake is killing a three-headed whale. And they start to generate. They're actually generating really quick. I think this is Dream Booth tied into Wumbo's actual own model, though. They have their own model. And he's doing none of that in all of these. That yeah, one. Yeah, we got is... just Drake. <laughs> Let's try something else. Drake in a fursuit. That's actually really good. Photo of Drake in a fursuit. Oh, we're just going to get... Oh. Oh. Again, just more photos of... I guess it, uh, that is like a furry suit, oh, though. Oh, yeah, you're right. Now, that one at the bottom... <laughs> it's he's just, just Drake dead. with like a furry guy. Yeah. Very interesting. Drake dude. on the bottom left was just tired. Dude, he looks sleepy. I want to see if we can get something actually good with Drake. What is going okay, on? Okay, well, we're getting somewhere. Oh, that is horrifying. <laughs> that one is creepy. That is so scary. It's like... The, the, I don't know what happened. To that's, the maybe that right. is Drake's... Look, look at the bottom. That one. <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. He doesn't... He's not purple, which is what I was hoping for, but... Purple That's definitely Drake. like Thanos Drake. Yeah, next Marvel movie villain. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. This is a little bit of a shorter one I wanted to discuss. Playground AI changed their pricing model. Before it was set up that if you wanted to use Dolly 2 through Playground, you'd have to pay 30 bucks, but you'd also get everything that's included with this pro model. 
So things have actually changed around now. A lot of people are not really liking this pricing model. Now Dolly just counts as a little add-on for 10 bucks. And I know Dolly used to be free here on Playground AI, but now that Dolly 2 is charging for their API access, they're going to need to charge people. Crayon, which was used to be a really, really popular image generation model, has actually been getting an update. Now you can generate in higher resolution 1024 by 1024 images, similar to Dolly 2. Runway ML basically have an AI video editing software that's really good. I've covered it in a video in the past, but they recently have had some big, big updates. We had stuff before like the green screen background or the blur background or even the in-painting, which actually works really well. Um, but now they have infinite image. So this is like outpainting, like Dolly 2's outpainting. I believe it does actually use, it either uses Dolly 2 or Stable Diffusion. Uh, they've also got image to image. So you could take like the example they show here. A photo of yourself and convert yourself into like a drawing or mm, something like that i think people would like that one actually. they have regular text to image which is just stable diffusion so yeah there's a lot of new cool tools that are available on runway ml and i believe they're all like basically like free free quote like with an asterisk at the end um like i think you could do like as much generating as you want but you only have like you have like a five project limit and things are only like 720p and it's made for video editing so it's based around video editing Wow, man. So many features. So cool. We're going to try one. Yeah, I want to show this one off. This is their infinite image. This is very reminiscent of the Dolly 2 outpainting editor, by the way. Like, very, very reminiscent. But okay. I really like the way it's set up. It's a good system. Yeah. So what are we doing here? I like the whales. Let's do something about a whale. KFC whale? Yeah, KFC sure. whales. Yeah, we'll just do a little test and see how it works out here. So we generate an initial image to build off of. Oh, I like how you can start wherever you want to. How much space do you get? A lot. Infinite. Yeah. Uh, you make really big images. Okay, well, we got whales. Oh, there this we go. This is definitely... That's what we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, so we got this. And if we wanted to expand it, we'll just go like this and then click generate. We could also change the prompt, though, if we wanted to change the way it expands it. But this is not Dolly 2. This is Stable Diffusion. Mm. Someone told me it was Dolly 2 and they were wrong. Mm. Oh, yeah, they expanded oh, it pretty well. Wow. More, more chicken. And it works very... It's like exactly the same as Dolly 2's editor where mm. you can just thumb through the images like this before accepting one. They're all pretty good. Yeah. It looks like all this KFC is on the on a whale's back. It just looks like a table to me. I just thought the whales were the KFC. Like, I thought oh, we just cooked Kentucky whale. fried whales. Yeah, Kentucky fried chicken whales, you know? Yeah, fascinating. It's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, I like how it's keeping the same thing. <laughs> it's pretty consistent. Mm. So yeah, once you're done with this... You can save it with this little download here, mm -hmm. just like you would with Dolly 2. This is the best in-painting I've ever done with Stable Diffusion, by the way. This is the best Stable Diffusion in-painter I've ever tried. Mm, nice. That's so, good. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. yeah. This is good news. Good news. Good That's AI I'm... news. That's why you come here. For AI news. AI news! AI news. You guys are here for AI news. And this is news. Real news. Like, this is the best he's tried. And he's the AI man. This is the best one. So you believe it's good. There you go. Thanks. Yeah, Thanks, no guys. Problem. Okay, so we're coming towards the end of our AI news here. This is kind of older news at this point, but Dolly 2, made by OpenAI, now has its own API, which means any company out there that wants to pay OpenAI to incorporate Dolly 2 into their website or whatever they're building can now do so, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I like, I like that. Now they have options. Because wasn't it just it's expensive though? It's really expensive. So what? Who? What AIs could they use? Mid Journey and not Mid Journey. You still can't. No companies uh, so, can use Mid Journey. So what is it? Stable Diffusion. Just Stable Diffusion. Just Stable Because it was open source. Okay. Yeah. I think. Or if they made their own model. Yeah, that's good though. I like how you can get variety depending on what you're gonna make. Yeah. Now yeah. you can use Dolly Two, and Dolly Two is still pretty good. Yeah. I know of several apps now that are starting to use Dolly Two because of this. So finally, closing our AI news off. AI Test Kitchen, which is made by Google, it's their own app. You can download it for iOS and Android uh, to basically test AI, but you have to sign up for a waitlist to use it. It seems like invites are going out pretty quickly. Several people in my Discord server already got an invite. I, as you can see here, already got my invite here for AI Test Kitchen. There's no Google Imogen yet on AI Test Kitchen, but it's coming soon. So that's Google's really, really good image generation software that's coming to AI Test Kitchen in the future. But right now we just have Google's Lambda, which if you guys remember a while back was the text model that made the Google engineer think it was alive. Wait, so how, how hard is it to get? I got invited within like four days. Oh, that's good. That's or good. So. so yeah, sign up. Link, link down below. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. 
thank you everyone for watching uh this episode of ai news I'm gonna try to do this weekly hopefully like every friday every saturday type of deal round up all the latest ai news if you like the video make sure you leave a like and uh, Jack will be on the Discord as fried cheese. Mm -hmm. Do any links? Do you, do you have to? Any no, links I, I I don't care. Yeah, Jack Discord is, link. Discord is yeah. In the, join the Discord yeah. in the description. Jack's not like a YouTuber or whatever. He's just here because I found him on the side of the road, and you know I, th I figured I'd put him in the video. Yeah, thanks, Matt. This was really fun. This was really fun. I had a good time. Is he being sarcastic? No, I'm not being sarcastic. I was being genuine. Now, now you now everyone thinks I'm sarcastic. All right. Thanks for watching everyone. And I'll see I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.